are you trying to stand up, guys? Bless his little heart. Don't you just want to help him peel that little thing off? Oh my gosh, look at his little wet fur feathers. I can see this in there. Good morning, friends. It has been a long time. I think over three weeks since we posted a video. Have missed you guys. Um, it is a gloomy Sunday. I'm doing Brian's farm chores. He is sick. We are staying home from church. He's running fever and I'm getting some of the same symptoms he has. Not bad yet, but we were on spring break last week and went on vacation to a lake house up in North Texas and got home on Friday morning. So we had all day Friday <laughs> and yesterday and then Brian started getting sick yesterday. So anyways, it's hard to recover from a trip first of all and then now we're sick. So we've also had some ducks hatching. I'm so thankful they didn't hatch while my daughter Evelyn was taking care of all the farm animals. We are at six. Probably number seven will hatch while I'm out here. It was almost all the way out. So I'm going to feed the animals and then um, try to take a shower. I'm at that point where I think my body's just fighting it off. So I just get tired really easy and I've got like some drainage and a sore throat, but not terrible yet. I was talking to the camera and didn't have it going. So I was just saying it's so muddy here. We've had, we've had a lot of rain and these poor dogs are just filthy. You can see Sweet Bear is covered in mud. The good thing about Pyrenees is that once their fur dries, the dirt just comes off and we can brush them out pretty easy. This is Luna. Hey, Lulu. Turkeys are ready. You're missing all your feathers. Y'all have been fighting. Goodness. Goodness. So interesting looking at our ducks coloring. All of our babies are black and brown. And we have so many different colored ducks. Okay, so as the hours have progressed, I've gotten more and more congested and more and more tired. So it has been hard to do much of anything. We did eat leftovers for lunch. We made some, we used a freezer meal yesterday um, of my spaghetti sauce. And so we had enough of that for dinner last night and lunch today. So that was nice. And then we have um, a little bit more um, fajita meat from Friday night that we made that I'm about to put some baked potatoes in and we'll have like a fajita potato because um, we've eaten fajitas now for two days in a row. So to use up the little bit of leftovers and stretch it, plus our bellies are a little bit weird from being sick. So the potato might be, might be a good idea, but I've got my washable rug in the dryer. I'm also going to use my steam cleaner on the spots. It's an eight by 10 that, um, so it gets most of it clean, but then when it drains, there usually is some stainage where the water drained. So I'm watching my ducks like crazy. I've got those seven out there and the two that I've been helping, sort of like moment of truth. They're so weak and tuckered out from trying to hatch and then they got kind of dried out in there. So I'm trying to not look at them every <laughs> minute because it's making me feel anxious. So I'm just praying over them and trying to get through the afternoon, Brian and Evan are laying down. Evan's listening to his iPad in there. He's starting to sneeze. He's calling me for cheese. So I'm gonna make him some cheese and then I'm gonna get these potatoes going for dinner. This is the state of this room. We've just 
literally come in and dumped everything. I've got Evan's schoolwork that I didn't really put away and organize some things from the trip. Left over, everything is a mess. He's been playing here on the floor since the rug is, is gone. I've been trying to get caught up in laundry and the furniture is all moved about because I was had pushed it back to get the rug going. And then I had planned to work on my garden this weekend, but it rained all weekend. So incubator parts, computers, the kitchen luckily isn't too, too bad. So it's definitely, look at my laundry pile over there. That is dirty laundry to do. Definitely not feeling good about going into the week like this, but knowing there's not too much I can do and I don't feel great. You making our to-do list for the day, Evan? Yeah. Yeah, what's on the agenda? Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. checking, you're checking the little boxes? Oh. Okay, so it's actually, the next day, so it's Monday, and I came in the house. It's the only quiet place I could I could find. They're insulating the garage right now, so we had to move the chicks, the chicks, the ducks from the garage inside the house. And sweet Evan is not feeling well, um, so I didn't do school with him today. Gave him some Mucinex, and it's been a slow start. I always I also feel like getting back from spring break is almost hard, harder than getting back after Christmas break. I think because we know we have such a short time left that we just want to be finished. Um, we are on week 29 of 36. So I, we had a slow start to the morning. I did get up and make my lesson plans for the week. Over the summer, I do a weekly lesson plan for the entire year per subject. And then at the beginning of each week, I look at those and look at what we have going for the week and then, um, you know, divide it out by day. So I did get that planned and that's great because then now the kids have no excuses. They know what they need to do. Um, it's about two o'clock. They should be finishing up soon. I laid out all of Evan's school. So if he does start to perk up and feel better, Great, if not, we will do it tomorrow. Um, but, you know, it's just hard to get back from vacation and then when we got home not feeling well just made it that much harder. So, a couple of y'all have reached out to me on Instagram asking where we've been. Thank you. We actually have made a few videos that we chose not to post because we just had such a hard few weeks with the house and with insurance. Um, we have not gotten insurance approval for our contents yet. The deadline was March 2nd. That was with his extension and it is just back and forth. They are not wanting to pay for items that the company has cleaned but deemed unsalvageable. So it's like arguing back and forth over each little item and so it was just a lot. And so we felt like the videos that we were making were just kind of depressing because we were just in an annoyed state. I think now we've just decided we're just giving it to God. We will get what we get and God will provide for us. Um, I'm praying we hear something this week. I have made a master list of everything that we plan to buy. We have that number in our mind. So we're just praying that our content amount is close to that. Um, and then there was some mix up and delays on the home front here. And so it was just a frustrating few weeks, but the break was so nice being with family, being at a lake house and having no, no responsibilities. We brought plenty of food. So we only went out to eat once and we were just together sitting in nature, fishing. It was perfection. It was just what we needed. So now we're taking a deep breath. We're home. We're trying to have new perspective. We're meeting with our builder tomorrow. Um, and we're just trying to wait well. So thank you all for hanging in there. Thank you for sticking around. I plan to film more this week, so stay tuned. And I wanted to leave y'all, leave this video with a couple of clips from our vacation. Oh, I can't wait to go back. It was so much fun. 
So thanks for watching friends. We will see you soon in another video. Say happy spring break, Evan. Happy spring break, here we come. Out in the water, buddy. Need some help? You got a big stick? I think that's a fire. That's for fire, bub. No, don't throw it, Danny. Danny, don't put that in the water. Okay. Our $10 That's more fun to catch them like that. What'd you get? Let's see. What'd daddy get? Evan, look. Evan Ray, look. Look. Evan, look at the fish. Hey. Evan, look. No, you said no? Aw, he's a cutie. He's got the tiniest mouth, Evan. You want to touch it? No, no. Okay. You don't do it. Show us how it's done. We'll go towards the water, buddy. Face the water. There it is. Woo!